There's been a lot of talk online because Alex Hirsch, the creator of Gravity Falls, released a video on Twitter that was bonkers, really. I actually saw this a few days ago, but he shared transcripts of interactions between him and the Disney censorship team over Gravity Falls. Now, some of the stuff in here, whew, Oh boy, it's interesting. <laughs> Please revise Holy Christmas as it could be perceived as religiously offensive. You'd have to stretch real hard for that. But I'm gonna show you my favorite one, like, by far. Please revise Seuss's line about dressing as a giant teddy bear. It may call to mind the people who dress up as stuffed animals as a furry fetish. I, first off, I love the voice. <laughs> it's so dramatic. I also love the implication that furries dress up as specifically Stuffed animals? This is the perfect response for me. I would have said something similar. You should go check out this video, it's crazy. There's also like different notes that he's tweeted and even the end results of some of these interactions. It's honestly hilarious, but also a little bit sad. But it did get me thinking. See, just a little bit ago, I did a video watching adult jokes from the amazing world of Gumball. I didn't even want to talk about it. This whole thing with Alex Hirsch just made me wonder if there were adult jokes in Gravity Falls. And the answer is, Yes. But then I'm curious now with all of the censorship, what did get through? What did they deem acceptable that was still a little risque? I'm not sure if I've ever been more curious about anything in my life. Call me crazy, I feel like Gravity Falls is maybe a bit more of an innocent show. And I'm ready, but also not ready, to have that illusion shattered. I'm also excited to shatter that illusion for you, so let's go! I would like to see you settled before I ascend to heaven and live with the angels. And with Grandpa! No, he is not there. I did have a feeling that it was gonna be less assault, innuendo, and more dark, sad stuff. And I do appreciate the subtlety there. It's not so in your face, but also the implications of that. And saying that to your son, grandson? Oh, that cuts a little different, hey? Hey, you watch the movie, you scare the girl, the girl snuggles up next to you, next thing you know you gotta raise a kid, your life falls apart. Forget that last part. Oh my god. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. They're, they're not his kids. That makes it better. <laughs> I was here like, oh my god, is he talking to his children about that? And like how they tear your life apart? Jeez. But no, it's fine. He's just talking about their cousins. Oh. I need something to get my mind off the- Oh, that's- Fine. <laughs> Do you remember those, like, I don't remember what they're called, little candy sticks? I was the kid that would pretend to be smoking with them all the time. I would think I was cool as hell. You know what? I was. Also, I hate this visual a lot. This is not nice. That's a lot of hands. And also, Stan doesn't have enough hands. Oh. Boy, and they're grabbing me. Oh no. This evoked feelings I didn't even know I had. You can see the bone. Oh. Stealing is wrong, etc. Take it. Can I have my hands back? I have a certain gesture I'd like to share with you. <laughs> that's that's fun. I like that. And it's so not explicit. That's a that's a good one. Alright, Santiago. <laughs> you have 24 hours to get these bugs across the US border. Family meeting! Family meeting! Bugs. No te preocupas. Vamos, vamos. What are they doing with those puppies? And there's a lot of them, dude. Like, that's not just a few. That's at least five barrels of puppies. Smuggling, puppy farm, puppy meat. Can we get an F in chat for all them puppies? Well, the kids are taking their time. Looks like it's gonna be a while. What's he doing? Uh. What on earth is he doing? He's just cutting shirts and then took his own shirt off and cut it? What? stars out tonight. Oh no. Wow. This is getting weird. Yeah. <laughs> that was what I expected and and not and not what I wanted. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought that was gonna Rickroll me. <laughs> that sounded like a damn Rickroll. We're in 2008? What? I don't, when was Rickroll? That's a crusty old ancient meme. Hey boys. You can look, but you can't touch. Oh God, isn't she like 10? Squeak, 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 squeak. Oh, oh, please, for the love of God, tell me they're saying awesome because she's in one of those like hamster bubbles. Please tell me it's not, they're like, oh yeah. I, I, I do want to look. That's, oh. Bro, canonically, how freaking old is Mabel? Hold on. 12 year old. Oh, they're twins. Oh, she's older. By five minutes. This room is way creepy. Not as creepy as Dipper's internet history. Oh, I don't know if it's explicit, but that's, that's blunt. Oh my God. He's 12. What's the, in, and what's he, uh, I feel like a grandpa. What are you doing looking up? stuff on the internet. It's a like grandpa and then I immediately sounded like an 80 year old lady. <laughs> this video put me on guard. I've got like walls up. It keeps pushing that barrier, but not too far for me to freak out, but enough for me to be unhappy. I'm not this much of a prude, I promise. Hey you, stop. <laughs> Come back here. Hey, those are lewd hand gestures. <laughs> I like when shows make you imagine what's happening because that was all off screen. So it wasn't like shown to us. Took an hour to think of this, but it was worth it. Ha! Get out of here! 
<laughs> you salt licking, horn swaggling. McSuck it. They got me good. Am I missing something? Just because it says suck it. It does sound like an awful McDonald's burger. <laughs> the McSuck it's what Ronald McDonald orders you to do. Oh God, why did I say that? It's staying in the video. <laughs> oh no, Stan, you didn't. Don't panic. That could be anyone in that suit. God, hot Belgian waffles. Wait, I'm alone. I can swear for real. <laughs> That's him, all right. Given what's in the video that Alex Hirsch shared, I am genuinely kind of surprised that made it through. Because there was a revision request for the line, there once was a man from Kentucky, because unsavory rhymes could be gleaned from it. So they wanted to change Kentucky because they were worried that people would infer a rhyme. But that last clip where the ending word is... Very clear. That's fine. The inconsistency is what gets me. Although I guess maybe they were just worried about the F word and nothing else matters. Ah, you're at that creepy age where you spy on girls, huh? Guess it's time you and me had a man-to-man -man talk about the birds and the bees, you know? That is. First off, no, people don't just hit an age where they spy on girls. That's not good behavior. But also, the subheading of this book, your body explained in horrifyingly uncomfortable detail. <laughs> No way out of it. Look, it all begins with this little fella, the pituitary gland. He may be little, but he has big plans. There's something deeply disturbing about the eyebrow wiggle. Oh no, oh no. Look at the draw. I don't even. There's clearly a, a vibe here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> that is a genius way to make your joke land without upsetting the senses. <laughs> oh, we're not allowed inappropriate magazines? Fine. They are completely appropriate. So appropriate, actually. So appropriate, you'd never guess anything. All right, let her rip. Oh, oh no, a letter rip. What the H? What? I have absolutely no idea what that joke was. Is that it? Is, is it because it's... Implying hell? I don't know, man. But then what's the R? What's the R for? Let her rip. What the H? I've got to be missing something here. I feel so stupid. I'm looking at this like, her. <laughs> oh, I get it. It's bad because her. It's like a crime scene in my mouth. Oh. So it's just dawned on me what that meant. And I just... <gasps> Thank you for saving me, but why didn't you just roll me into the lake? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Such a dumb scene. I love it, but that's very, very dumb. And now you know where babies come from. Goodbye, childhood. <laughs> that didn't even sound like his voice. It sounded like Kristen Schaal. Two bags of fairy dust, just like we agreed. Where do you get this stuff? Everyone lacks sausage, but no one likes to know how it's made. You disgust me! <laughs> You've got your poison, I've got mine. We made a deal. Yeah, well, the deal is up! <laughs> 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 These butterflies aren't mine, I swear. I've been framed. Tell it to the adorable owl we've dressed as a judge. My cut. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> so many layers going on there. First off, I love that it was called fairy dust because, you know, it do be angel dust. But also, <laughs> he's a dirty cop. Had too much. What do you think? Would you like to eat my candy paws? Of course, you little angel. Oh. So she's tripping, but also, just generally, that was pretty viscerally uncomfortable. I didn't, I didn't like that. Everything from the way she was staring, to the dog's voice, the music was, uh, mm -mm, that's a bad trip. I don't know if that was meant to be like, oh, look how much fun she's having, what a great trip. No, that's, that's, that's the definition of a bad trip. Wanna hear a joke? Here goes. My ex-wife still misses me, but her aim is getting better. Her aim is getting better. That's dumb, awful, you see, it's, atrocious. It's because marriage is terrible. <laughs> what? Stan, have you ever heard the term pump the brakes? He's a skeeve, he's jaded. I don't know, I'm coming at this show with pretty much no context, but Uncle Stan, you, uh, you gotta work on your issues, my friend. Have a long, hard look at yourself.
Settle down. I'd do anything for the Pines family. Zeus! I need to scratch myself in two places at once! And I mean anything. Wait, you got two hands though! There is too much to take away from that last clip. I feel like if I start diving into it, my mind's gonna explode because if you need to scratch yourself in two places at once, but you got two hands and that's fine. But then also, where are you scratching that you can't scratch? It's fine. It, it, mm. I feel bad for Zeus. I don't feel as though I was reeling as much in comparison to the gumball one, but there is something somewhat more unnerving about the jokes here. Here. Because with Gumball, I knew it was messed up. It was weird. The episodes themselves made me uncomfortable. So I went into that assuming that I was going to be scarred for life. Or at least for a year. With Gravity Falls, it reminded me of like your completely unassuming aunt. She's never said a dirty word in her life. She's never sworn. She's never even made an uncouth joke towards you. She is essentially the personification of the G rating. And then one day, you hear her talking with your other relatives. And you're like, damn, she is dirty. <laughs> and your whole world comes crumbling down. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to click that like button. And as always, have an awesome time until I see you next. See ya.